hello welcome to my channel it's miss jay's voice here um on the display is the ingredients we're gonna be using today for wonderful bitter leaf soup and bitter leaf soup is actually a delicacy for the Igbo people from the eastern part of Nigeria um, the, this soup is a very very special soup we use it during the occasion and uh, hey I'm from Igbo as well it's time to introduce myself I'm actually an Igbo lady and able to be precise and uh, this is our you know kind of our big you know festival soup you don't go to any function like traditional wedding but whatever you know they must cook this soup so if you don't find this soup in any occasion an Igbo man is hosting or is having that means something is missing so here in the display is my uh, ingredients I'm gonna be using today so I'll take you step by step on the on the how to cook this wonderful soup. So let's go. I will uh, introduce you to the ingredients here. So right there we've got the cuckoo yam, which is the ede. Ede they call it in Igbo language. That's the cuckoo yam, and that's the main ingredient for the soup. So we use it to thicken the sauce, uh, the soup. And there we have our smoked mackerel. Well, that mackerel I got it from the supermarket. And it's so lovely okay and I've got my sour fillets and right here is the stockfish head okay and you get that from the afro shop we have our ogiri this ogiri right here that thing in the back like uh, yeah, that's called ogiri in Igbo land and uh, that's like um, a seasonal a traditional uh, seasoning you know it gives it that real bitter leaf kind of flavor now it's not bitter but it gives it a kind of a good aroma it puts a good aroma in the food and then we have our salt and that's my palm oil right here i've got my scotch bonnet and that's my crayfish some prawns and here is the bitter leaf itself that's a vegetable called bitter leaf so i got it frozen from the african shop today because they don't have the fresh ones so i'm going to be washing that and prepping it later um, here I've got uh, assorted assorted meats. Okay, I've got uh, you know the abodi, that's the intestine of the animal, and uh, some goat meat, intestine of the uh, cow, and uh, some goat meat we're gonna be using today. So um, let me get on with prepping, um, prepping the bitter leaf and. First, we'll start cooking the meat. So I'm gonna wash the meat now, season it up, and put in the pot, and then we'll get cooking. Okay. Now I've actually washed the our body, and I've put it in the, in the pot with a little bit of water. And now I've added the the sour dry fish. And this stockfish right here, I had to use my hand and uh, I'm hot, you know, I put hot water to soak it for a bit, then I use my hand to piece it like this. And uh, this is the uh, stockfish head I showed you earlier. I use hot water to make sure I washed out all the nyama nyama, as Nigerian people they talk, you know, in it. So I'm going to be adding it uh, in the pot now. So that in goes that one so i'm gonna put in the the maggi cubes i put some three cubes of maggi right here right so maggi i've gone in and now i'm just gonna give it a good stir if you noticed i've not added the goat meat yet so i'm just gonna let the air body because it's a bit tough i'll let it cook uh till tender before I add the goat meat and then, and then as well let the um, stockfish head cook properly then uh, the dry fish will then be you know tender if you noticed in the other part that's my cocoa yam cooking so I'm gonna be checking it uh, to anyway it's not been long it started boiling so I'm just gonna leave it for a bit to boil till when I touch it if it gets very tender that means it's ready to blend okay i will now cover up my uh my uh 
stockfish head and my body and the dry fish to cook and uh, yes we'll give it like 10 to 15 minutes to cook and we'll be right back okay now I'm gonna be checking on the on the stockfish head and the our body and the dry fish I put in earlier to see how it's cooking oh yes this is nice and tender it's been cooking now for half an hour um, <clears throat> if you noticed I did not put onions in this uh, dish because this uh, kukuyam, uh, this pitali soup don't really need onions but onions is optional some people do put onions in theirs but today I'm not going to be putting onions at all so I'm going to cover it up for a bit uh, now and let it cook for another five minutes and then coming back to my kukuyam I'm just going to poke it with a fork and see if it's tender yeah it's tender now now I'm going to be peeling off the back of the kukuyam and uh, putting in the blender and putting a drop of oil in it and blend it and then I will come back uh, and we'll carry on with um, I've, I've uh, blended the cocoa yam with a little bit of oil and then a drop of water you know to allow the machine blend it uh, properly and then I uh, prepped other ingredients this macro right here will be the it will be going in at lot at the you know when the kokoyam have gone in and uh, melted and everything so I don't smash up and there is my my prawns crayfish and the uh, scotch bonnet I've blended if you notice here I've washed and prepped the bitter leaf itself and I've also washed and prepped the goat meat and uh, right now I think I should be adding the goat meat because the the fish must have uh, cook to tender by now so let's check our fish and see how it's doing <coughs> right uh, the fish looks like uh, the the, um, the stockfish head looks like it's uh, it's looking tender now it's been cooking for almost uh, 40 40 minutes now so it's properly cooked and uh, the our body is tender now so right now I'm gonna go on ahead and add the, the washed goat meat in the mix and then uh, I'll let it uh, cook uh, I'll let it cook for until it's done uh, then we'll start adding other ingredients well you'll be wondering why I'm adding the goat meat last because it takes the it don't take time for the, the meat cooks quicker than the stockfish head and the dry fish and the air body and that's why I'm putting it last so that it don't over overcook so I'm just gonna go on ahead now and cover the pot and then let it uh, cook and uh, once it's done then all the ingredients will be going in okay I'm gonna check the the goat meat and the Stockfish head and you know other ingredients I've put already to see how it's uh, doing. Right, that looks that looks good. Um, let's see. I'm gonna give it a bit of stir to check if the meat is tender enough to start other other ingredients. As uh, it's been cooking now for 15 minutes, so I'm actually gonna start uh, adding other ingredients at this point uh-huh that reminds me I'll just cover this stuff for a bit I'll, I'll just cook it for like five minutes uh, then I will come back and uh, but um, I'll put the cocoa in it then I will come back to you and this reminds me um, the ogiri I talked about earlier this is how it looks when it comes out of that bag this is uh, um, a seasonal, you know, in the olden days, our forefathers don't know what Maggi Cube is. <laughs> so this is like a Maggi Cube to them, okay? Uh, this is made out of uh, some seed from the tree, which I don't really know, but it tastes great. So I thought I should show you. So right now, I'm just going to go on ahead and put the, the Koko, Kokoyama blended in the mix, then I'll come back to you. 
just added the, the cocoyam in it I'm not gonna turn it at this point I've added cocoyam uh, I blended earlier and uh, uh, one spoon of red oil and uh, one and a half spoon of uh, red oil this spoon I'm, I'm having right here one full and a half of it of the palm oil I showed you earlier that's this one I've added one and a half spoon of that with the cocoa now so I'm just gonna go on ahead now and cover the, the, the pan and let it uh, boil till the cocoa yam is melted then I'm gonna use water and melt uh, that uh, ogiri I talked about earlier and add it on and other ingredients will be going in right at this point I'm gonna check our Let's see how it's doing and this I've been cooking now for six to seven minutes if you noticed the cocoa yam is now blended in in the cooking see how it, it's still melting okay so when it's at this point when it's like this now you have to add that uh, ogiri I've melted it with water so I'm just gonna pour it in to get the aroma going in the mess while the cocoa yam is still Chicken in the soup. Then I'll go on ahead and add the, the prawns and the, the blended prawns, scotch bonnets, and curry fish I grinded earlier. So I'm just gonna push it down and <laughs> mix it up and so that it don't form kind of you know make sure it's stir it well to melting in the dish. Okay, so um I'm going to add in my uh, mackerel now, I've shredded it, so I'm just going to stick it in at this point because the, once the soup boils properly now, we're nearly done, but, so we're going to let it cook for, we will leave it for like another 10 minutes to simmer properly. And then we'll come back to to see how it's doing. At this point, I'm gonna check uh, and see how the soup is doing. Oh dear, it smells beautiful. You can smell the ogiri. It just reminds me of my mom. <laughs> it reminds me of when we're back home, and uh, whenever my mother is cooking this soup, you can smell it from. All the whole street people will be so nice to us and so that we can let them you know join us and eat when we're eating Wow it's beautiful okay now I'm gonna test and see uh, if I need any more salt or anything mm -mm -mm. this is beautiful Oh, it's perfect don't need any more salt so now I'm gonna add in the bitter leaves the, the bitter leaf which is the final final ingredients to go in this dish so I'll give it a stir and then I'll be covering it up uh, to you know, melting and steaming properly and then we we'll give it like five more minutes to cook and then we'll come back to it and then uh, our food will be ready. Okay, the soup I've been cooking now for five minutes. Oh dear, look at that color. Oh, the smell is divine and it's so beautiful. I wish you were here to smell it. Yummy. Well, um, our soup is ready now. So, enjoy this dish if you're cooking it. And hey, have you subscribed at all? Please do not hesitate to leave a comment and uh, subscribe to my channel and then I will see you in my next video, okay? Have a wonderful day and thank you for stopping by. I'll see you in my next video. Enjoy!